Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do the marbled gel nail design. Someone, well a few people have actually requested it. I showed it on one of my Instagram posts and I think I had it in a video a while back. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how I do it. So I'm starting off by applying a white gel polish. So I'm basically, this is not neat as you can see, I've just got that everywhere. But yeah, so I'm just going to apply one coat, cure for 30 seconds, apply a second coat and then I will be straight back with you guys to move on to the next step. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and I've done that, so I've got all I've got here is two coats of the white gel polish. The white, oh god, the white that I'm using is the Perfect White from Madame Glam. As always, my coupon code and link is in the description box down below. So next I'm going to take Madame Glam's black gel polish and that is called Perfect Black. All I'm going to do is just dot a little bit onto a little, whatever this thing's called, a little palette. Mine's got a little bit of gel polish on there, don't judge, a bit of glitter stuck in the corners, but yeah. So basically you can either apply that onto a little palette or the back of a nail form, anything that you can just get rid of. Um, and you also want either some isopropyl alcohol or some acetone. In mine I've got acetone, just a little dappen dish. And then we also want a little brush. These are destroyed guys, destroyed. Please do not judge me on that. So basically all we're going to do now that we've got our ingredients is dip your brush into your alcohol to make sure that all the bristles are nicely together and they're nice and thin. Then you're going to go ahead and dip into your acry your acrylic paint, no, into your black gel polish. Let me pop that on screen so you can see what I'm doing. You can pop that into your black gel polish. And then basically you can either have a marble pattern in front of you or just do it from your head. I'm just going to do it out of my head and I'm just going to draw some marble like grains I suppose you could say I'm not sure if okay so that is where we are at then we're going to switch over to a different little nail art brush or just a different brush than what you're using. I'm just going to be using this one here. It doesn't have to be a thin one like this um, but I suppose the thinner the better because you can get more like precision um, details. And you're just going to dip into your liquid, your acetone or your alcohol and basically we're just going to run, I mean focus, we're just going to run that over the lines that we just created, sort of like down the centre so it disperses the colour out. Let me see if I can come a little bit closer. Um, and then just follow it around. So did you see how that sort of like dispersed that line and stopped it from being so solid? So you just want to do that on all of those lines that you created. Oh, I'm out of focus. can sort of see the effect that it's creating. So you just continue to do that until you're sort of happy with the background for the marble. So that's all we're creating here, it's just the background. And you can play with it as much or as little as you want. Just do it until you're completely satisfied with the way it looks. I try to get it so that it's like grey so there's like not any really stark white bits, if that makes sense. Um, 
because I just don't like it like that. I like I like my marble to be all nice and blended and basically looking like marble bit. So yeah. So just keep playing around with it to however you like. And if something, if you do a little bit of something and you don't like the way it went, just go over it again. I mean, I like this bit here, but I feel like it's a bit too dark at the minute. So just going in there, tweaking that. So that's where we are at so far. So basically, now that that has done, you put that brush to one side and we're coming back in to the brush that we use for the black gel polish. Now you can, if you've used a really fine brush, to be fair, I'm going to use that one. Uh, just use the smallest, smallest detailing brush that you've got. And you're going to dip into your gel polish. And this is a funny angle for me, so I hope that I can get it on. And we're just basically going to go ahead and draw in some detail lines. And I've gone quiet because I need to hold my breath for this, I'm literally holding my breath. And then next, if you're happy with it like that, leave it. Do not work too much because you end up with just a grey mess. If you're not happy, you can always come back in with your brush. Make sure you've cleaned it off if you've used the same one. A bit of that acetone or alcohol, just slightly dab, dab, dab. I just like sometimes I can't be doing with such clean lines when you're doing something that's being created. I don't know, is marble a naturally created thing? I don't know. But basically, there's no straight lines in there, is there? There's no blunt straight lines that are harsh. So I always do like to come back in with the Astron. Just to... Disperse everything out. And make sure we've got the details that we want. So pretty much you can just work with it as much or as little as you want to do. Like this here, can you see sort of like that round bit here? No, it's not working for me so move it out of the way. See, so we don't like you, we want you to leave. And then it's gone. So yes, and then I'm just going to add a little bit more. So yeah, I think I'm happy that once you've got all your details in there, you can go ahead and cure. If you want to tweak it or change it or anything like that, then please feel free to do so. Every single nail will be different because you cannot, it is impossible to get them exactly the same. Um, so yeah, I'll be back when I've top coated and to show you the final result, guys. Okay guys, so here is the final result of the marble nail. As you can see, it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Well, at least I think so anyway. Um, I'll probably try and insert another picture of the other marble nail that I can see because, as I said, every single one turns out differently. Um, so yeah, I hope you have fun watching this video and I hope you learned a little bit from it as well. If you did enjoy it, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching guys, bye!